How's it going family? I'm Phoebe here with another figure review. Today we are going to be opening up this Genshin Impact figure. So this is Barbara, she is a 1 7th scale figure and uh, she was made by Kotobukiya. She cost me 19,580 yen, that's without shipping and uh, she released back in November of 2022. So Genshin has been releasing some really nice figures, uh, Kotobukiya makes some really nice figures as well so uh, yeah, let's get into this figure review. Um, first thing I want to mention with the box is that the box is really pretty. Um, I really like what they've done. Um, there is a Genshin Impact. Where was it? There. There's a Mahoyo sticker right here, a holographic Mahoyo sticker. Uh, that's the sticker of authenticity when it comes to buying figures. Uh, she has some stickers up there there and on the side to uh, open and when you look at the image itself it's kind of like a shiny see it's kind of shiny so always keep an eye for that but yeah let's get into this So there is sellotape here and on the other side, so uh, we'll open up from this side. Tape to the bottom our instructions on how to put her together. And here she is, uh, her base is really nice, some grass and flowers and whatnot. We have got Barbara herself, which she is packed up in plastic, which is great to see. And then in here we have got what looks to be the little scarf bit on the back of her. I'm assuming that goes on her back. Then we have got uh, this bit here. Some musical notes that goes onto the base. Barbara also has some plastic around her hand and her hair. Here she is. She is absolutely adorable. She's got uh, her catalyst here, which if you look really closely at it, you can see uh, her vision on it. And the vision is actually like sculpted. It's got uh, the vision insignia actually in there so full hydro with her happy little face her hair is kind of a translucent blonde like I'm looking at it from behind and you can definitely see the the light through it that's interesting her clothes are cute painted really well. I'm not sure how I feel about her hair being translucent like that to be honest. It just kind of, it gives a flat feeling to it because there's no, like, there's a little bit of shading but not really. Yeah, I'm not, hmm, not a fan of that. Um, but there's a lot of movement in her skirt, look at that. That is gorgeous. Painted really nicely. Uh, she's wearing her white panties okay so let's get her on her base which her base is really nice it's got flowers and grass and even like just a little bit of a pond or a puddle there uh, so let's see she goes on to her base like so there we go okay well at least she feels nice and secure on her base uh, on the back you can see that's where we put the that bit there. So we put this on her back. You really gotta push it in because it looks like that's kind of sticking out a little bit. I mean it's in there but if you look closely at it you can kind of see there's a little bit of a peg. It's a little bit of a shame that it's not, it doesn't go all the way in. Yeah that's a bit of a shame uh, but it's in there. 
Yeah, there we go. See, she's got musical notes all around her now. That's cute. Love that. All right, here is Barbara here. She is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love her. I love the movement in her dress. I love the way that it's painted. Uh, I, I adore the little musical notes around her. The things that I don't exactly like is um, there's no shading in this figure whatsoever. There's maybe a tinsy bit of pink in her hand, but for the most part, there just is not any differing colours, giving it a lot of like definition. Like, um, if we look at, for example, I'll bring over Mona. Oopsie, sorry, Aether. I just knocked over Aether. Um, if we bring out Mona. Mona has a lot of like pinks and underneath her arm, uh, her face has blush marks and has different colours, um, a lot of different colours in her clothing. She has a lot going on, but if we look at Barbara, her hair is semi-translucent, it kind of gives like this slight silvery feel to it. I, I don't like that because I can, I can see the light through it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't like that. Uh, she maybe has the turnsiest little bit of pink in her underarm, but there really is not enough colour in Barbara. She's just looking very pale. <laughs> her catalyst is sculpted very nicely. I do like that, and you can definitely see her vision. It has the Hydro Vision uh, symbol there which is really nice uh, she has some nice tones of like uh, shiny blues here and there uh, on like all the pendants and her buttons and everything so that's a nice touch her dress is painted nicely with all the uh, golds and blues and whatnot uh, don't see any defects in this figure which is really nice but yeah no I there there are definitely pros and cons with this figure um, don't regret getting her because she goes very well with the rest of my figures uh, but there are things that I would definitely change like the plastic that they used for her hair. So do you collect any of the Genshin Impact figures? Uh, who do you main on Genshin Impact? I main Kokomi. My party usually consists of uh, Yeilan, Hu Tao, Kokomi and uh, Nahida. So, um, I find that team fun. Do you have those characters? Again, who do you mean? Tell me down in those comments. So I hope that you did enjoy this figure review. Uh, go and check out my Mona figure review because uh, I put that up. I've also done Klee and there'll be other uh, Genshin Impact figures coming soon. I'll make sure to leave links down below to all of my figure reviews uh, in the playlist and whatnot and uh, they're up in the iCard up there for you. So I hope that you guys did enjoy. Hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye! liked this video please make sure to hit that like button and if you want to help the channel and support what I do then you could become a patron or a channel member just like Bernard, Tracy, Knights of the Hidden Realm, Renee, Xavier, Mandy and Top Gun. They're all awesome bibliotheers and you can become one as well. So from my Mecha guys thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go and check out some of my other videos. I've got some linked in the end cards right here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.